we're going to validate some input. This is section 5.9. So sometimes you get bad input or input that you can't do what you want with it. Uh, in this example, we're going to look at the logarithm function. Now, logarithm in mathematics has to accept only a positive input right here. So x has to be positive. So we're going to break it. So let's go ahead and copy this. Now I'm going to paste this at the top here. And I'm going to put that on the other line, right? We'll get that fixed. Okay. Now I don't want any of this other stuff, but I may want to go back later and mess with it. So I use a shift key and click to highlight up all that. And then control slash will turn this into one big comment. There's another way to comment. You can start a multi-line comment with slash star. Then you're going to end it with star slash. That's another way to comment out a lot of stuff. It's up to you how you want to do it. You can also just delete it if you're sure you're not going to come back later and wish that you had this. You can collapse this method down to one line. It was only three lines, but now it's collapsed down to one line. And let's go ahead and run this right here. So enter 100, and this is the mathematical log of 100. All right. Enter number 0. The log is negative infinity. NAN means not a number. So what we want to do before we run this line of code, we want to make sure that x is positive. So it's pretty easy to do. If x greater than 0, if x is greater than 0, fantastic. We'll run those lines of code. Else, now we can sout whatever we want. Uh, input must be positive. All right, F6 this. Answer a number, 100. We see that same value we saw before. Uh, negative anything. Input must be positive. Try zero. Input must be positive. All right, so that's a way to check your values before you run your line of code, which in this case was getting the logarithm. Uh, you want to validate your x value. There we go. Validate your x value before you actually run this, which is why you put an if statement in front of it.